Uh, President Joe Biden is off to Camp David for the weekend, but it's his speech last night in Philadelphia that is still causing an uproar among critics who called it everything but unifying. Today, the president addressed the controversy. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Tracy, good evening to you. As President Joe Biden spoke from Philadelphia last night, a lot of reaction poured in. One top Republican official tweeted her summary of the president's speech and boiled it down to five words. In Philadelphia, President Joe Biden tears into his political opponents. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. And he adds a clarification. Not every Republican, not even the majority of Republicans are MAGA Republicans. Not every Republican embraces their extreme ideology. Reaction to the president's harsh attacks followed on social media. In a tweet, GOP Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel summed up the speech this way, angry, divisive, political, stubborn, failure. And Senator Marco Rubio also reacted, angry man smears half of the people of the country he is supposed to lead and promise to unite. Republican Governor Asa Hutchinson called it a political speech and not unifying, a theme the president focused on in his 2021 inauguration speech. I don't think it was a presidential speech. I don't think it'll be well received. It was divisive. And uh, that's very troubling to me whenever you aren't addressing the serious issues from border security to inflation uh, that uh, he's responsible for and needs to provide answers for. And early this afternoon, right after an American Rescue Plan event at the White House, the president was asked if he considers all Trump supporters to be a threat to the country. Come on, come on, guys. You're trying to make that case. I don't consider any Trump Everything we stand for, everything we stand for rests on the platform of democracy. President Biden also said today that those who voted for President Trump did not vote for an attack on the Capitol building and did not vote to overrule an election, that they did vote instead for a philosophy he put forward. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.